Hey guys, I'm Abigail back with another baritone ukulele tutorial. Today we are talking about the blues. So I've linked a video in the description below that goes into some great detail about the rich history and impact of the blues. So I would love for you to pause this video, watch that one, and then come right back. Today we'll specifically be looking at a 12 bar blues form in the keys of D, A, and E. And then later on, we'll play along to some practice tracks. Let's get started. If you're not familiar, let's start by defining 12 bar blues. Bar is another word for measure. So this form is 12 measures of the one, four, and five chords in a particular order. For a blues, we'll usually make all of these dominant chords. So in the key of D, we have D7, G7, and A7. Let's look at the specific order of chords that's associated with a 12 bar blues. We start with four measures of the one chord, in this case, D7. We follow that with two measures of the four chord, which is G7 here, and then two more measures of the one chord, D7. To finish, we play one measure of the five chord, A7, one measure of the four chord, G7, and then two more measures of the one chord, D7. One common variation of this form, and one we'll use in this video, is instead of ending on the one chord, or D7, our last measure is actually the five chord, or A7, and this gives us a sense of momentum as we go into the next round of the form. So in this case, our last four measures would be A7, G7, D7, and then ending on A7. So once again, our chords in this key will be D7, G7, and A7. Let's go ahead and talk strum pattern. My go-to strum pattern for a bluesy feel sounds like this. So slow down, that's down, up, mute, up, up, down, up, down, up, mute, up, up, down, up. Remember, you can always simplify the strum pattern when you're starting out. You might just want to do all down strums, or if you have a better strum pattern, go ahead and use that. The one spot where my strum pattern will vary is on the last measure. Remember how I said we're going to end on the five chord because it gives us a sense of momentum going into the next round of the form? Well, another way to build momentum is by changing our strum pattern for that last measure to sound like this. One, two, three, four. That's going to make a lot more sense in context, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the last four measures of the form. A one, two, three, four. So the big thing there is just that we're muting on the downbeat and then strumming up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Mute, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you don't even really have to mute on that first beat as long as you remember to pause and then strum on the up strum. Again, feel free to simplify the strumming pattern at any point. Now we've come to my favorite part of the video and I'm doing something I've never done before, which is I made some practice tracks for us to play along to. So I'll put the chord diagrams up on the screen and we'll play through the form twice before ending on a nice D7 chord. Let's give it a try. A one, two, a one, two, three, four.
So maybe you're an old pro with these chords and the strum pattern is no problem for you and you're playing the video at double speed because it's just so easy. Let's go ahead and add a little challenge. We're gonna look at our D blues scale and our D major scale so you can try improvising along with the practice track. So the notes in our D blues scale are D, F, G, G sharp, A, C, D, C, A, A flat, G, F, D. Notice that the note on the first fret of the G string can be called G sharp or A flat. So practice that a few times and then we'll move on to the D major scale. So the notes in the D major scale are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. When you play along with the D blues practice track, I would definitely start with the notes in the D blues scale, but just know that once you're comfortable with that, you can work in some notes from the D major scale. So what you can do now is rewind to the practice track we used just a few minutes ago and try improvising or coming up with a melody on the spot. If you're like me, this will be really hard at first. So just keep it simple when you're starting out. In fact, Try just using the notes from one string at a time. So the first time through, I might try only using the notes D and F. So it's not a lot to work with melodically, but you can play around with the rhythm all day. After that, you can move on to the next string and experiment with G, G sharp, and A. And let me tell you, this G sharp or A flat is one of the best notes to use in your blues scale. After that, try playing just your C and D. Eventually, once you have these notes in your fingers, you can combine notes from all three strings and even start finding some of the blues scale notes on the E string. So go ahead and rewind, give it a try, and we'll move on to the key of A. So now that we've defined our 12 bar form and gone over my suggested strumming pattern, the rest of the video will move pretty quickly. Let's look at the one, four, and five chords in the key of A. We have A7, and that's our one chord. D7, and that's our four chord. And E7 is our five chord. Now let's look at our A blues scale. The notes in the A blues scale are A, C, D, D sharp, E, G, A, G, E, E flat, D, C, A. The notes in our A major scale are A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, and A. Again, when it comes to improvising, I say start simple and then build on that foundation. Are you ready to give it a try? You can strum along or try your hand at improvising. Feel free to slow down the video by clicking the gear icon and changing your playback speed. A one, two, a one, two, Three, four.
As a special bonus, I'm going to show you how to play one of my favorite chords in the entire world, and I've only just recently discovered how to play it on baritone ukulele. It's called an E7 sharp 9 chord, and it sounds like this. This chord has a gnarly name, but it's not actually that difficult to play. You might substitute this chord for the last measure in the A blues form. So your last four measures would sound like this. A one, two, three, four. Now let's move on to the key of E. So the one, four, and five chords in the key of E will be E7, A7, and B7. So the notes in our E blues scale are E, G, A, A sharp, B, D, E, D, B, B flat, A, G, E. And the E major scale goes E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Let's go ahead and practice with the track. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Another way you might enjoy practicing the blues would be to sing or hum along as you play. You might even be inspired to write your own song with one of these progressions. That's all for today, but next time we'll look at a C blues with movable chord shapes and we'll check out a minor blues. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.